we're also two months into what's been a pretty active hurricane season, so it's always best to have your hurricane preparedness kit ready at all times. Meteorologist John Dawson has a look at the gear you may not have thought of. All right, on today's hurricane gear test, we're talking about lighting. When the power goes out, you know the electricity is going to go out. The friends at Energizer, I asked them to send me something that you might need in your hurricane kit. They sent me three samples, three different lights. It's really a great ensemble. It's a headlight, a flashlight, and a lantern. Now for today, we're just going to be focusing on the headlight because I think it's something that everyone needs to consider a little bit more. This is an interesting one. First of all, you don't have to put this on your head. You don't have to wear it as a headlight if you don't want to. Uh, this one is called the Vision HD Focus LED because of the way you can uh, use it from a spot to a flood. What I do want to show you is that it does have three different light settings that it has available to it. It has a red light, which you might use in a very dim light situation when you don't need a whole lot of light. It has a very bright uh, high powered light and then it has a lower light level as well for another uh, less light needed type of a situation. Uh, and one other thing that I like to talk about whenever I'm reminding people about hurricane flashlights that you're buying. When you buy one that's in a package like this already and it comes with the batteries, what I want to tell people to do is don't even take it out of the package. Leave it in the package and take this whole package and leave it in your hurricane kit. That way you know it will be ready with charged batteries whenever you you need it. Here's the bottom line on this headlight. It has a lot of great features and really not very many drawbacks. I'm not crazy about the focusing controls and really wish it just had sort of a, a flood and spot switch, but I'm very glad that Energizer stuck with these very common AAA batteries. They'll be a lot easier to find when supplies are running low. You'll be able to find those packages of batteries. Now, when you have the light on high, you're only going to get about six hours of runtime, but if you do put the light on low, you will get up to 50 hours. Hours, so make sure you're planning your usage carefully and of course always have an extra set of batteries. I give this light a cat five out of a possible five on my hurricane kit priority scale. You should consider adding a light like this to your emergency preparedness supplies. This energizer headlight can be purchased at many retail stores and usually costs between 20 and $25 for a complete list of my pros and cons. Go to my Facebook page, John Dawson Fox 26.